introduce you to a staff member of mine. The past few months have been some of the toughest times of his life, but still he manages to come to work every day with a smile on his face. Ty Morales, come on up here. sitting on this side, Tom warms up our audience every single day and does such an amazing job. <laughs> Plays with people. And I don't know how, but he gets people to do the craziest things. I don't know <laughs> what, what he does, but people will do whatever he asks them to. And he's, and, and you're, you're so uh, positive and happy all the time. Um, let's, uh, let's share with people uh, your story uh, of what you've just been going through. For more than five years, Tom Riles has been part of our family at the show, entertaining the audience before Ellen takes the stage. And no one was more excited than Tom when he told us his wife, Lucy, was pregnant with their first child. But 18 weeks into the pregnancy, Tom and Lucy were given some devastating news. Their baby had a very serious heart defect, one that she may not survive. Barbara arrived on February 26th, and after a brief moment with Tom and Lucy, she was whisked away by a team of doctors, where it was determined that she would need open-heart surgery to save her life. The next few days were touch and go, filled with tense moments and sleepless nights, including the baby needing emergency CPR. Through all of this, Tom and Lucy remained positive, and little by little, their baby started to improve. Ten days after her surgery, they brought Barbara home. Now, at three months old, her heart is stronger than ever, and she's doing all the things a beautiful baby should do. That's my baby. That's your baby. That's my baby. And can I, can I just say thank you, first of all, for letting me share this and for, uh, for all the support that you and the whole staff has given us over these three months, because it's been tough, but you've, you've been amazing Well, to us. you haven't even, I don't know how you, you've stayed so positive, because you went through, I mean, I think you were present in the room when your baby had to get emergency CPR, right? Yeah, yeah. that you just, time stands still, and you're just kind of staring, and you can't even break down then, but I was, yeah. it was devastating. Yeah, and uh, what is the best moment that you've had so far with her? The, uh, we really cherish the small things. I mean, at first, she wasn't able to eat. She wasn't able to, to breathe on her own. She had a ventilator. So at about a week, five days after the surgery, she had the ventilator taken out, and she cried for the first time. And she didn't know how to cry, so it was the most unreal. Like, she, her face scrunched up. Then she made a, ah! <laughs> And then she was better. And then it was happening at five minutes later, ah! And then there was a little boy he had the same heart condition right in the bed over, and he had a little, a lower haw. So, like, <laughs> like two birds, you heard ha 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 ha. So you, we just cherish the small right. things. Well, like, if babies cried like that, we wouldn't mind. That would be a, <laughs> a, a fine thing to deal with all night long. So, so you don't mind the crying. You cherish we, the crying. We now. couldn't wait for her to come home and cry. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's meet uh, Barbara, the baby, and your wife, Lucy. styling her hair like mine right away, too. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Hi, sweet angel. And she's doing fine, right? She's, she's doing really good, yeah. She may need to have maybe another surgery, but... Right. It, it all depends. We've got a great team of doctors monitoring her. Mm -hmm. and we got regular doctor visits, but um, she doesn't mind. And one you know, of the, so far, so good. One of the reasons she's doing so good is because of my rock star wife, who's been amazing through the whole thing. For all of our... All of our friends and family that prayed for us and, and, and sent us messages over the months, so, so thank you. Well, it, it's, it's amazing because, I mean, really, we see him come to work every single day and, and cheer everybody up and make everybody happy, and this is going on in your life, and it's, uh, I'm, I'm so happy that everything is okay and that we could meet Barbara, and we want to give you, uh, you know, you weren't here for the Mother's Day show, so we wanted to give yeah. you this. And you get 
that doll up at the top, too. You get that. Are you showing Barbara what she's yeah, getting? Yeah. Look, look, yeah. Barbara. Look what you're getting. All right. And also, I know, Lucy, one of your dreams was to, uh, to see a Garth Brooks in concert, right? Yes. Somebody's on the phone for you right now. What? Hi, Miss Lucy. How are you? <laughs> she's, she's crying right now, Garth. <laughs> Hey, Tom. Hey, buddy. It's Garth Brooks. How are you guys doing? Garth. My Hi, man. Garth. <laughs> Hi, Garth. I've been How are like, you guys doing? We're doing good. We're doing really good now. Thank you. You find out really quick, as long as the babies are good, you're good. That's yeah, true. And I'll tell you something. If you've, ever, if you've ever seen Garth live, he is such an amazing performer. His shows are so incredible. And uh, what you got going on, Garth? A show or something? Yeah, we're just uh, doing this gig out at Wynn. Uh, we, had, we came out of retirement and, and took the deal at Wynn. Uh -huh. And just, it's just me and a guitar. We're just kind of starting slow. Uh, we still have um, two babies left in the house. We had one graduate this year, and now uh, she's off to college. And then we have two more. So we got another four or five years before we can even think about you know, uh, possibly touring again, Miss Sherwood and I. So we're just kind of taking it easy, and it's it's once a month kind of thing. So it's it's pretty easy on us. It doesn't affect our schedule at all. And um, oh, Miss well, Lucy and Tom, I think you guys are coming out in July. Is that right, Miss Ellen? Well, you just told them that. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, you're going in July. Friends of the Wind at Las Vegas Encore are inviting you uh, to, uh, to an extraordinary weekend to enjoy their restaurants, spas, and casino. You're going to go see Garth. And uh, you might want to uh, gamble a little bit. And so I think I have $1,000 in my pocket. <laughs> Garth, thank you so much, Garth. And thank maybe you, Garth. they're going to be out there. I'm going to try to make it, too. Thank you so much for calling in, Garth. Thank you, okay, you guys enjoy yourself, and, and way to take care of you, your own family. That's cool. Jonathan and everybody has worked really hard for this, so thank you for letting me be a part of it. All right, thank, thank you. you so much, Garth. Thank you, Garth. Bye. Bye. All right. Job, Have fun. Put it all on 11, on roulette. Yeah. Done. 11-11. <laughs> uh, yeah.